Okay. Okay, John. Uh, Jen, sorry. So the first question will be, what movie made you cry or laugh? The last movie that made you cry. So many movies make me cry. I'm the worst, <laughs> and I'm, I cry at commercials too. <laughs> um, let me think. I was watching The Walking Dead. Oh, oh. This yeah, just two nights ago. But I don't want to say what happened because people might not have seen it, and <laughs> yeah, it might make it might get them in trouble. But something happened. Someone important passes away, mm -hmm. and I cried. I cried kind of a lot. <laughs> Перевод, наверное. Um, да, и так Джен говорит, что очень сложно выбрать один фильм, потому что она плачет, в принципе, даже на рекламах. Но последний, наверное, сериал, который заставил заплакать, это «Ходячие мертвецы», но она не хочет говорить на каком моменте, потому что мало ли просподерит. Ну, в общем. Wow, <laughs> Сколько времени уходит на музыку и поддержку группы? Хватает ли времени на отдых? Right. Um, how much time does the band take you, does the music take you, and do you have enough time for yourself? Uh. Well, I think because my band is like my best friends, I'm totally okay that it takes up pretty much the whole year. I think if I didn't love my band so much and didn't love the people, then it would feel like I didn't have enough time for myself. But because the people are so incredible, I don't mind. Um, I, I, I don't mind that I'm not home much at all. Джен <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, говорит, что группа это ее лучшие друзья, поэтому в принципе она не против того, что uh, музыка и группа отнимают у нее все время. И если бы они не были так дружны, возможно, да, она бы сожалела, но она очень счастлива, что она проводит столько времени с музыкой из группы. Какие новые рок-группы представляют для вас интерес? Uh, are there any new rock bands that are interesting for you? I'm so sorry. Uh, What did you say? <laughs> uh, are there any new rock bands that you find interesting? I like the band Starset. Um, I feel like they they have a little bit of a skillet, like strings, mm -hmm. emotional feel, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit like a movie soundtrack, and that really moves me. And I also like uh, the band Paris. Uh, mm -hmm. They're a little like less heavy rock, but I think that they've got like a great mood setting. Um, I, I just that they'd be my two new favorites that are newer on the scene. Thank you. Um, Джен говорит, что ее новая группа, которая интересует, это группа Starset, потому что она немножко похожа на Skillet по звучанию и группа Paris. Uh, они так немножко полегче, но да, это те группы, которые сейчас uh, ей нравятся больше всего. When you were a kid, when you were a kid, how did you study at school? How did I study? Yeah. How... Like, like, did I do well? Yeah, or... yeah, yeah. Were you a good kid or? <laughs> It's debatable. <laughs> I was a bit of a clown, so I definitely went to school to have fun with my friends and I would basically live to make my two friends, Allison and Ellie, I would try to make them laugh as much as possible. But then, the last year of school for GCSEs I did study and did well, but up until my last year I definitely... <laughs> I like to have a lot of fun. So the question was, how was Jen? And she said that, in principle, she was a clown in class. She went to school just to be fun with her friends. But in the last year, before the exam, she was a lot of fun to get them and get them good. I did do very well at sports, though. I was the sports woman of the year for my school. And then I like to do art and drama, too. Those I would try at. И она добавила, что она хорошо занималась спортом. Ей очень нравился спорт, поэтому там все было хорошо. Okay. Uh, oh, speaking of sport, what is your favorite one? My favorite sport? Yeah. Um, to play, I used to love playing soccer. I did quite well at that. Uh -huh. And I was also a cross-country runner. So I didn't enjoy cross-country running as much because it stressed me out a little. Mm -hmm. But I really enjoyed playing soccer. But I do sometimes find it a little boring to watch, if oh. I'm 100% honest. Though I'm loving watching the World Cup. And last night, the Croatia-Russia thing, I'm so sorry. That was an incredible match. And I was rooting for Russia, and I'm really sad when they lost. Итак, вопрос был, какой любимый спорт у Джен? И она говорит, что ей очень нравилось играть футбол. И она занималась бегом. Ну, бег ей не так сильно нравился, потому что слишком много стресса и прессинга. Um, и она честно говорит, вот, чтобы честно ответить, она не очень любит смотреть футбол, но смотрит сейчас чемпионат мира. И игра вчера между Россией и Хорватией, ну, ее заставила немножко погрустить, потому что она болела за Россию. Mm -hmm. а, что ты хочешь изменить в своей жизни? И есть ли у тебя какая-нибудь мечта? Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to change anything in your life and do you have any dreams? 
Do I have any dreams? <laughs> Who doesn't have dreams? I don't know. Um, it's very deep. Uh, obviously, I'm working on my side project called Ledger. And I hope that that will continue to grow. I really, really enjoyed stepping into the songwriting side of things. Mm -hmm. um, I've l I love being a part of Skillet, and I do not plan on leaving in case people worry. Mm -hmm. um, but I do really enjoy writing music, and so I hope that I can continue to explore mm -hmm. and do more of that because I just find it really fulfilling. Дин говорит, что в принципе у всех же есть мечты, и сейчас она сфокусирована на своем сольном проекте Ledger. И она очень хочет, чтобы он продолжал существовать, развиваться. Но так, на случай, если кто-то волнуется, она не собирается уходить из скелет, потому что она очень любит эту группу. Но ей очень нравится э, писать музыку, поэтому она хочет продолжать в этом ключе тоже. Где ты находишь мотивацию, если то, что делаешь, кажется тебе бессмысленным? Когда ты стучишь на карту дверь и бьешься головой в стену, стоит ли продолжать бороться за то, что любишь, что никогда не добьешься? Не могу Можно я вопрос all right, uh, so this is very deep. philosophical and deep question. <laughs> so uh, if a person like is doing something and it seems like pointless, how to find motivation again? Wait, say that again. Where do you find motivation? Yeah, like, where do you find motivation? Mm. My motivation is uh, definitely my faith. I believe that God has given me this one life. He is with me. and. Mm -hmm. I already have seen him do things in my life where I used to be very timid and I would not have wanted to perform or be in front of people, but I believe he's made me brave and I believe he's with me and he's made me able to do something I wasn't able to do on my own. And so to live for him and live, it feels like an adventure, the fact that the real living God would want to know me and live life with me and be a part of this short breath I have here. Um, that gives me purpose and it gives me hope and it's the whole reason I live and the whole reason mm -hmm. I do music and, mm -hmm. and I will live for that for the rest of my life. Джон говорит, что ее мотивация в Боге на самом деле, потому что она уже видела, сколько сколько всего он сделал в ее жизни, потому что ей было сложно выступать перед людьми, но он дал ей силы, дал ей смелость, и поэтому она будет продолжать жить для него. Okay. Um, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You know, like Magneto from uh, uh, X-Men, and he can kind of yeah. control me metal. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would be smart because then you could kind of do anything. Because that could make you fly. Mm -hmm. It could make you protected. It could make you strong. Like you could shoot people. I don't know. It seems very, very powerful. So I'll say. Вопрос был, если бы у тебя была суперспособность, чтобы это было, и Джин отвечает, что способность контролировать металл, потому что в принципе можно было бы делать все, летать, стрелять, что угодно. Было бы очень классно. Clearly. If you could have a cup of coffee with anybody, who would it be? <sighs> this is too difficult. Like living, mm -hmm. living alive now. Oh, okay, okay, alive now. I'm a huge fan of a writer called Beth Moore. Mm -hmm. She uh, writes books, and she makes me like she makes me cry a lot when I read her books, <laughs> and I think she's amazing. Uh -huh. So I'll probably say her. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Uh, вопрос был, если бы ты могла выпить кофе с кем угодно, кто бы это был? И, um... Ответ – это писательница Бет Мор, и, кстати, вот ее книги заставляют Джен плакать, <laughs> поэтому, да, скорее всего, у нас нет, остается на, на ней. Less serious answer – Chris Pratt. Oh. Because he's Chris Pratt. Потому что ты Крис Пратт. He'd be nice, though. Right? <laughs> yeah. um, mm -hmm. All right, do you have anything that scares you? Hmm. Yes, too many things that scare me. <laughs> um, let me think. Spiders terrify me. I don't like bugs. They terrify me. Uh, I don't like many, many things. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll stick with those for now. <laughs> Итак, вопрос был, что тебя пугает, и Джен говорит, что слишком много вещей ее пугает, например, э, пауки просто приводят ее в ужас, и всякие другие таракашки, поэтому очень много всего, но давайте на этом остановимся. You know, actually what terrifies me in a movie 
little girl ghosts. They scare the me worst. so, so much worse than anything else. <laughs> Never girl ghosts. Самое страшное, например, в ужастиках это привидения маленьких девочек. Страшнее этого вообще ничего не может быть. Вам не кажется, что Рок исчерпал себя? Don't you think that Rock is dead? If I did, I'd be in the wrong line of work. I think that Rock is coming back. I can see how people would say it was dead. Like in America, it can feel like it's dying because you know not many young people like Rock in America. But when we come to Europe and Russia and Belarus, it's clear that Rock is not dead. Young people love it, and and one thing I feel really proud of Skillet for is we. Have, like John Cooper, especially with Corey Cooper, they take care to make sure that the music sounds modern and fresh. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it makes the old rockers not like it as much, but it makes young people still want to listen to it, which mm -hmm. which we need to do more of in rock. Джон говорит, что в принципе она может понять, почему люди считают, что рок себя исчерпал, рок умирает, потому что, например, в Америке молодые люди уже не так не так им нравится слушать рок музыку. Например, когда она приезжает сюда, в Россию, Украину, Беларусь, она видит, что все совсем иначе, рок наоборот возвращается. И вообще она сказала, что если бы она считала, что рок умер, она бы не занималась этим. Alright, now we have quick fire questions. Okay. So, well, you have no time to think, you just have to answer straight away. Okay. Alright. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Alright. <laughs> Could you please describe each uh, member of the band using one word? Mm -hmm. John, crazy. <laughs> Corey, wise. And fun. Oops. <laughs> Seth, sweet. And you? Me, amazing. <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Alright. Um, th uh, three songs from your current playlist. My very current playlist. Eyelids by Paris. Um, oh, I don't even know. <laughs> what have I been listening to? Can I look? <laughs> sure. <laughs> don't look. I can't remember. I hate these quick riot fire things. <laughs> what am I listening to? Oh, I've been listening to a very wide range of things. Bring me the horizon. Mm -hmm. uh, Brown. I love that. Then also Dua Lipa. New rules. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, it's a secret. <laughs> uh, and then Congratulations by Post Malone is here. They're all over the board. This is embarrassing. I should put that away. <laughs> Alright, next question. Uh, yes. Drumming or singing? Oh, I can't answer that. I'll get in trouble. Um, <laughs> both. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Um, Photoshoot or selfie? Uh, selfie. You know why? Photographers can make you look really bad. I'm like, why? This is your job? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, rock or pop? Ooh, rock pop. What? <laughs> I have to say rock. Edge, but I do love pop too. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, and chocolate or chocolate? Chocolate. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know me, you know me. <laughs> Alright. Easy. Thank you. thank you very much. Ah, thank you for having me. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you.